So today, I tried the weirdest keyboard ever. Just look at this thing. So I got tired of editing with my old keyboard. So instead of editing with my old keyboard, I tried using the most strange and interesting keyboard in the world. So let's see if I can actually edit fast while using the weirdest keyboard ever. But before we get into trying this weird keyboard, shout out to Jcon for following all of the steps on my previous video. If you guys want your name in my 1v1 map like the rest of these names here, all you have to do is drop a like, subscribe with nobody's on, then comment keyboard down below and you will have a chance of being on this wall and you will have a chance of being in this 1v1 one map in the next video but until then let's get back into trying out this weird keyboard okay so here is the keyboard i know you guys got a little bit of a preview of it in the intro but here it is so just based off first impressions this thing it does not look normal at all instead of letters this keyboard is actually numbered one all the way to 20 which is down here we have a scroll wheel right here and then there's a joystick and then another button right here and i honestly don't even know what it's for so for w a s and d it's actually 8 12 13 and then 14 and then my edit bind is is number nine. I'm gonna have to figure out all my other binds, but this is just a really weird keyboard. And you already know that I have to do a key cam for this keyboard. So before I get into actually trying to edit fast with this, I just gotta figure out the binds. So it's W, A, S, and D. Okay, that's simple enough. Okay, let's try out editing. So I'm assuming that it should be this. Okay. Okay, so this is not too bad. All right, can I make a build invisible first try with the weirdest keyboard in the world? I better be able to. Gotta get off to a really good start here. Oh yes, we got a lot more where that came from. Okay, so at first I thought I just have to use this keyboard for everything and no mouse, but I figured out that I actually have to use a mouse with it. And wait, why can I not move anymore? All right, I just fixed the problem and I kind of figured out how this keyboard kind of works. So I'm gonna try building with it. I probably won't be too good because honestly, I don't even know what keys I'm even hitting for what. So when in front of me, I have an edit race. And here is my opponent in this edit race. I am going to be edit racing with the Aorus GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card. And I also have NVIDIA Reflex low latency on, so I will have the least amount of delay possible. My opponent, on the other hand, is using a 2080 graphics card, and he does not have NVIDIA Reflex enabled. We are about to edit race and see how much of a difference the 3080 graphics card and NVIDIA Reflex low latency actually makes. Alright, Penny, are you ready to get destroyed in this edit race? Uh, no. Not really, no. We're gonna race anyways. As you can see, I am able to edit much faster than my opponent for a variety of reasons. Reason number one is that I have NVIDIA Reflex enabled, which allows me to have a better chance at hitting my shots and aiming at my target. Number two is that the design of the Aorus 3080 is improved and allows me to stay frosty. I am able to edit without stopping because my PC never lags or overheats. The stack fans, wind plot design, and alternate spinning allow for a perfect cooling that I can always count on to win me an edit race. So as you can see, I got 7.30 on the clock. He got 6.16 on the clock, which means I finished the edit race faster, so I won. It's obvious that I'm able to be this fast because of the graphics card, so there's no reason why you should wait to get the Aorus GeForce RTX 3080. Go to the link at the top of my description so you will be able to win every edit race from now on. I think you guys can all agree with me that this is by far the weirdest keyboard in the world. Let's just see how I am with it. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Hold on, am I actually insane? There's no way I just did that first try with the weirdest keyboard. So there's a chance that I might actually be insane with this keyboard. I've used the Apex Pro for the past year and a half now, and I've never used any other keyboard before, but so far this is not bad. Let's just try 90s real quick. So I have to do this, but then I have to jump. If you can see my thumb, I have to hit my thumb here. There's 19 keys here, but the 20th key is all the way down here. So every time that I want to jump, I have to use my thumb to hit that. And something even more weird about this keyboard that I don't even think you guys know notice yet is this a scroll wheel right here so let me just try so i'm gonna edit this and then i'm gonna scroll wheel what a keyboard with a scroll wheel on it what is that wait i gotta try to make this invisible with the scroll wheel on the keyboard hold on i'm gonna ignore the scroll wheel because it just does not make sense for me i don't understand it okay so my goals with this keyboard now that i'm first getting used to it is first off i'm gonna try to free build with it and hit some insane clips like i normally can on my main keyboard then i'm going to try out some different edit courses and edit drills with it and certainly not least i am going to try to win an arena game and i'm almost in champs division so this is going to be very difficult but let's get into it all right so first off we're gonna practice some different free builds you already know i'm gonna do my iconic free builds that i do let's get you know what let's try a really difficult one first we're gonna do the rift 90s so so the hard part about this is I have to what am I hitting for this to happen but like I was saying the hard part is when I jump I have to hit my thumb here and I'm not used to having my thumb stretched out all the way over there it just it's very awkward too that the space bar is such a small key this is actually just feels so weird to play with like I just don't understand this this keyboard
keyboard it actually just hurts my head okay i'm insane oh my gosh wow i just did that all right next up let's practice some quad edits okay okay oh my gosh i'm actually insane with this keyboard i really did not expect to be this good the fact that i just got on this keyboard a few minutes ago and i'm already this insane i might have a potential with this keyboard maybe i'll start using this more in the future other than just for this video i honestly was just going to use this keyboard for this video because i thought it was going to be horrible and i wasn't going to use it again but i actually kind of like it all right next up we'll just practice some floating with it you know because that's obviously what i do best so let's try it out Wow, I mean, it just, you know, it feels the same as my other keyboard. If not, maybe it feels better. I'm not even over-exaggerating to you guys. This actually just feels really good. Now, the one thing that the Apex Pro has over this keyboard is just the clicks. They're just a lot better on the Apex Pro. Just based off the statistics, the Apex Pro is just a better keyboard. But I don't know, guys. This keyboard, it feels really nice. I'm definitely not as consistent yet because I'm not used to it. But I'm able to do a lot of the moves that I'm able to do on my normal keyboard. Let's just try to hit the most insane free build yet. Okay, wow, you know what? I'm really happy with the way I'm playing so far. Now, something weird about this too is that the grip on this, it feels like a glove in a way because I have my hand here and then it fits in like this. This right here, it basically curves my hands over the top. So, you know, it's honestly really comfortable. It feels super natural, honestly more natural than a normal keyboard. Okay, so there's only one more move left to do. Let's try out the classic wall jumps. Oh my goodness, I'm actually insane. I have to be the best player using this keyboard out there. There's actually no way I'm this good. I'm actually having a lot of fun using this keyboard. As you guys can see, I'm hitting some pretty insane clips right now. So I just found something out that none of you even knew about this keyboard and you wouldn't be able to see it by just looking at it. I thought this keyboard had it all until you hit this button right here. And now as you guys can see, well, let's just, let's just see. Do you guys see what's happening on the screen right now? This is called controller movement. So basically this keyboard has different settings i was playing on a normal keyboard mode but now i'm on controller mode so i'm basically playing controller but on keyboard this is by far the weirdest keyboard ever now the question is can i actually edit fast let's find out oh hold on i'm going crazy what is going on okay the movement with controller is just so smooth i never knew controller movement was that nice let's just try some controller movement again ready so wow this is this is awesome man really this is actually crazy i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am still getting used to this keyboard because it is just it's still a very weird feeling to play with and i'm honestly really shocked that this had a controller mode too i mean it does have a joystick right here which doesn't really i'm moving with the joystick right now what i can only move left and right for some reason though which is kind of odd so it doesn't really make sense to even use but okay all right so here we are in the edit course warm-up map that you guys all know very well i do this in so many of my videos but this time it is with a different keyboard so i'm going to see will i be able to edit just as fast if not faster with this weird keyboard well let's find out this is considered my warm-up too because i just got on you guys saw the free builds i was doing and now this is my first warm-up on the edit courses and honestly wow this is not looking bad at all i mean just based off first impressions okay i messed up there but you know what we're definitely gonna make mistakes because it's a brand new keyboard and i'm not used to it at all but it's not looking like i'm making mistakes here because oh my goodness hold on i'm actually kind of insane with this new keyboard i feel like so far i'm pretty surprised with how well i'm doing on this keyboard considering i mean just look at it does this look like a keyboard that you'd actually perform good with in a game i mean it just does not look right at all all right so now you already know what we're doing we're moving on to the more difficult ones let's see how i make out on these courses Okay, these courses, yeah, that's definitely a lot more tough. And this is by far the hardest course, so let's see what happens. Okay, hold on. I actually am kind of going crazy. Okay, so you guys might be wondering why am I not using this scroll wheel? Well, let me just show you why. Ready? How am I supposed to do this? Then this, then this, then it's just not possible. Look, I have to move my hand back and forth. It just does not work. I got to use my mouse to scroll wheel. All I'm going to say is this keyboard, it's interesting. I can't really tell if it's good or if it's bad because it's just honestly hurting my brain. 
Okay, let's see how I do on these. And it looks like I'm doing good. You know what? I don't, oh, speaking of doing good, I kind of just messed up completely. Now that I got a feel for this keyboard, I think I'm ready. I'm going to bring this into an arena game. I'm almost in champion's division. I'm around 5,000 points. So we are going to be facing off against some pretty decent players. And I know for a fact that none of them are using this keyboard because I have not seen a single person using this. All right, so I am now in arena and oh, I accidentally just jumped. I literally, you guys saw, I just hit this key by mistake i forgot that that was my jump button i thought it was just another key oh he's right around here oh no okay yeah this is gonna go great let's go honestly after that first game i really don't have a good feeling about this i don't know why i decided to try to play arena okay so this guy this guy wants to fight eh you want to fight bro oh i got the first hit yeah you're dead i knew i got the first hit thank you very much see you later buddy first kill with the weird keyboard kind of a weird kill i'm not gonna lie so i guess that's just the theme of it i'm gonna have to play very very smart here i can't just rush in on anybody at any moment that i want to i know i got a couple more people here in pleasant with me so here's one right there oh my gosh okay this keyboard does not give me good aim at all that's good to know very good to know actually i see you buddy i see you i'm pushing you now eh nice let's go my use button is so awkward to press you know what i gotta take an smg i don't really trust my aim with this keyboard right now oh no wait a second hold on i gotta make a play on this dude huh bro what's so weird about this keyboard too is right above the w key it's the number three but on my other keyboard it's the number two so when i try to make an edit and then shoot it uses my smg instead of my shotgun oh my gosh it's so annoying Okay, these guys are fighting up here right now, so I gotta try to push them while they're in the middle of a fight. Smartest thing to do. I know I can trust my building and editing skills, so at least that will get me somewhere with this. Is he actually chopping me down? There's no way. This guy is actually trying way too hard right now. Okay, let's just chill. Okay, he's in. This guy actually just wants to kill me and me only. Nope, stop it. This guy is no chill, man. Fighting two people at once. What is going on? Stop! Oh no, this guy is actually too good at the game, bro. And I'm dead. Okay, yeah, this is great. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This keyboard, it's been an experience to use. I can't say if it's been good or if it's been bad. It's really hard to tell. I I mean, this keyboard has just been messing with my brain all night long. But I think it's safe to say I'm gonna stick with my other keyboard because I'm really not the biggest fan of this. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely do not regret getting this keyboard, though. It's definitely a great experience to try out. But you know what? We gotta end it off in fashion. This wouldn't be a Rift video without making a build invisible to end off the video. Yo, we gotta end this off in great style. You guys ready for this? Three, two, one, boom. There you guys have it. This is by far the weirdest keyboard that I've ever used and I've ever seen before. I think it's safe to say that I definitely do not take my normal keyboard for granted at all because this keyboard is extremely difficult to use, but it was fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys all in the next video, hopefully when I'm using my normal keyboard again. Peace out.